How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to start on the pole barn. It's going to be maybe two, maybe three videos that we do for this because it's going to be a, a few days for the project. And so we would love for you to stick around and watch all the series about how we get the pole barn built. And if you haven't subscribed already, please take a minute, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see, and even comment below about, you know, have you put a pole barn up? Do you have to have a pole barn on your place and you're going to do that in the future? We'd love to hear that kind of feedback from the, uh, in the comment section. So stick around, let's get started. All right, I've got Sonny coming over here on the tractor. We're gonna level this place out just a little bit, kind of smooth it out for what the, the floor is gonna be. But I've got my marking paint and I've got some string. And so essentially we're just gonna put our four corners out and get them as square as we can possibly, uh, possibly be. Because if you don't get your building as square as possible, you're gonna have problems. So we're gonna start that process. I'll show it to you and uh, we'll go from there. All right, stick around. Okay, I'm gonna use the Mahindra 4540 to just level off the level off the ground that the pole barn is going to go on. We'll use the box blade and the bucket to get it all shaped up nicely. We've done a little bit of box blade work and so what I want to do now is I want to set my post. I want to set my, my four corner post and then measure. We've got to get the diagonal measurement so that you can get the building square. I'm going to build a 16 by 36 uh, right now and then in the future the plan is to add a lean-to in the front so I can cover up the attachments on my or the implements on my on my tractor. So, uh, so what you have to think about is where are you going to set that first corner post. I've seen people use those uh what's that stuff called that batter board. Batter board. the batter boards on the corners uh you know the rope trick the line levels uh, you name it i've seen all kinds of different ways but i think between me and sunny that we'll get it and then once we drive the post in and get our measurements right we're actually going to spray paint uh where they're going to go and and kind of visualize it with the painting process there so let's let's take a look at the rest of the way we do this well we think we've come up with a, a solution to try to get this thing square my building is going to be 16 by 36. And so what you have to do is you have to use uh, some math that you kind of learned in school back in the day on how to do this. And you can use what they call A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I think it's the Pythagorean theory or something. But it might be a little difficult for me because I'm from North Carolina. And they taught us to count in North Carolina. One, two, Earnhardt, four. I mean, that's how they teach you to count. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, I know that it's 16 by 36 and so i can figure out the square roots of those and then i can draw a tape where sunny's at and i can draw the tape 16 feet that way uh as for the the depth of my pole barn and then i can come off the corner over on this side and where that tape intersects i think it's going to be about thir 39 and 3 8 is the math i come up to be something like that 39 and a half somewhere around in there give or take but i can get it about a quarter inch right here uh, and then when I actually set my post and level them up, because there's going to be some variations when I set the post with my auger and all that, and I'll get it level and plumb. That's when we'll get it. But I think if me and him can get it with some stakes and some string right now within a quarter inch, half inch maybe at the most, I think that will be okay before we actually start setting the post. So let's go ahead and get started. Right, on come on over here with me. Let's make you famous. 
I don't want to be famous. Well, come on anyway. I don't want to be famous. All right. We, we were measuring with a 25 foot tape. That just ain't gonna work. So I broke down and rode to the, the hardware store. We got one about two miles up the road. And what did we get, Sonny? We got 100 foot. 100 foot tape. I think that'll work. Sure. I don't, can you count to 100? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it the best shot. Good thing, good thing our fall bar's not 100 feet. We'd, we'd, uh, we'd have trouble counting that, huh? Best, best shot. Best shot, all right. <laughs> So let's get this thing, let's do it right, you know? All right, so we got day one knocked out, and we did our four. We measured our four corners, got the building as square as we could, and, and dug the holes. Three of the holes went pretty easy, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, but that yeah, fourth one. So uh, we got that fourth one right. I don't know if you can see the tree in the background, but that fourth one. How many shear pins we? Three. three yeah, we pins. broke three. We broke three, three shear pins on uh on the auger trying to get get it. We got into the roots and stuff, and so we had to do a little uh creative thinking to to get the auger down there to get the hole deep enough to set the post but so this is video one uh the next video we'll do we'll start setting the post and maybe uh, uh set the trusses up or something we like that clean the holes yet too oh yeah we gotta clean the holes up so we'll do that pour a little concrete in the bottom of them and uh sonny will keep it straight he's got a checklist uh, you got he's got like a foreman you've been were you a foreman is that what you were <laughs> so he, he's bossy until I, until I retired <laughs> So, <laughs> I thought I retired. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, down here. yeah, I know it. I know it. So, uh, hey, listen, uh, we appreciate you watching part one, part two, and maybe part three will come up uh, in the next day or two. So stay tuned and watch out for that. There's going to be a picture of the barn pop up over here. We'd love for you to guys to click on that, subscribe to our channel, follow us on uh, Instagram at Hamiltonville Farm, and like our Facebook page, Hamiltonville Farm. And, son, what's your Facebook page? <laughs> 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 Sonny, Sonny don't have Facebook. Spacebook, is that I what you call it? I don't have cable. I don't have anything I'm from old school. <laughs> old school. Old, old school, school, he says. So, hey, that picture has popped up by now. Go ahead and click on that. We'd appreciate it. You guys take care. We'll see you next video. <laughs> <laughs> old school, man. Oh, mercy. <laughs>